and welcome to Better Bachelor. My name is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. This one's kind of a fun one. I like this video. I have lots of crazy clips and videos to show you and some uh, some fun stuff to show you how it's all breaking down. And um, if you look at the numbers, you know, there's a, a book by, oh, there's a book by Aaron Clary called The Book of Numbers. And I think he has a bachelor edition out where I wrote a foreword for it. And then he, he corrected some of the stuff because I, I write like a monkey at a keyboard. And, uh, and he published it. And it's a great book because it shows you by the time you take out, you know, the, the craziness and the instability and the, you know, the, the, the girls that are on meds to help them level out their emotions and the ones that want to do this and this, you're down to like a 0.05% chance that you'll actually have a relationship that makes it all the way through a marriage and you stay with her until your elderly, elderly days. So this is, uh, some new t statistics. I got this from Alexander, who is at Date Psych, and he he actually has this webpage, Date Psychology, and he broke it down. And this just came out a couple of weeks ago. And but here's the thing: he has the methodology. He takes the number of Twitter responses. Uh, he breaks it down. He shows all the math. And see, I don't. I'm not a, a statistician. Statistician? Am I saying that right? You know where he breaks it down. T sample equals you know, 8.86 P less than 1.001 CL, blah, blah. I'm, I'm not a statistics guy. So these, uh, you know, these, these, I don't know these statistic mathematical computations that he shows. So when it comes to that stuff, um, I'll, I'll try to remember to leave a link down below if you want to watch this, but he has some graphs that he put together. And I think this is kind of clutch. He says initial results from the dating app Deal Breaker survey, an infographic with some basic descriptive deal breakers for men. So we asked a bunch of men, what are deal breakers for you? Uh, and we're just going to go through these images here. Uh, he says among the top deal breakers for men viewing female profiles are links to paid social media. 69.48% of men will reject a female profile with an only fools link. 62% will reject a profile with a Venmo link, which that should be 100% if you ask me. 19% uh, will reject a profile with a Snapchat and 10% will reject a link to a profile with an Instagram. Men associate these uh, with uh, spicy work, scams, and fake profiles. So how many of those do you know that are out there? Tons and tons of them. And 70%, nope, men just say nope right off the bat. They say these are also absolute rejection. So, so the numbers he's quoting here are the absolute rejection. Um, septum piercings, single moms, and li uh, listed pronouns were relatively high up there. Piercings in general only had a 4%. I think that's because guys don't mind earrings and or, you know, nip rings. <laughs> uh, but 45% always reject single moms, 45%. So... If you're a single mom, understand, ladies, that 50% of the time, guys are just like, nope. And here's the other thing that you need to remember. The 50% 50, 50 or 55% of men that are like, sure, they're probably not looking for a relationship. They're probably looking for a hookup. So as single moms get into this, they realize, oh, geez, so men only want to sleep with me and have some fun with me, but they don't want to settle down and, and become the father of my kid. Ding, ding, ding. That's right. 21% uh, always uh, reject septum piercings. I think that's the, the septum in your nose, right? The bull ring that goes through the center of your nose. 24% always reject bios that lit have pronouns. Uh, only 12% will ab absolutely reject profiles with opposing political beliefs, which I find surprising. I think that depends how strong it is. Because I'll tell you right now, if you have like, well, here's probably why. If you have like, I'm a MAGA Republican on there and she says, I love Bernie. I think a lot of guys would be like, I'd, I'd still smash it. It doesn't mean we're going to make a good couple because remember guys are mostly on there to, to like smash. That's all they, they want. So even, even 12% of guys are like, no, nah, I'm not really into, I don't even want to go on a date with that person. But a lot of them are still like, nah, I, I mean, I'd tap it and then move along. 8% of men will reject profiles that indicate a woman is involved in activism. So again, I, I think they just don't care. Um, and he's category, categorized items by high score. And I got some videos that the fun parts at the end of this, I'm just kind of 
giving you a little warm up of some, some statistics because I've got I've got a bunch of crazy videos that we're going to do here at the end as well. Uh, if you have an only fools, 90% is the high rejection score and a guaranteed rejection. So what the way he did this is if it's scale of one to five, five being I would absolutely reject it. But anything over three is a majority, right? So if you put, if uh, he said, would you, would you uh, go on a date with an only fools content creator? If a guy puts four, which is probably not, instead of five being absolutely not, four would be probably not, that goes into a high rejection score, where a guaranteed rejection score is definitely a five. Those were the numbers I was reading previously. Only fools, 90%. Venmo, 85%. Has kids, 78% are like four or five, where, where a five guaranteed rejection is, is almost 50%. Uh, non um, bio shows emotionally instability. Seventy five percent of men are like nope. Non monogamous. Seventy five percent. The um, wanting multiple partners are into the weird stuff. Seventy five percent. Post to male requirement. Seventy percent. Negative framing in bio. Seventy percent. I'm rounding these by a point or two. Um, women lives too far. Sixty eight. Uh, bio indicates uh, recreational substances. Sixty six. Smoker. Sixty five. Full body, not visible, 65, because they're tired of getting the big girls. Use of excessive makeup, 64. And so this is, this is the, the men are marking, again, I think it's like four or five, which is I probably would or definitely would. And here's the definite fives over here. Again, it's not looking good for women because if you go through here, what are the odds that a woman has one of these? Pretty high. What's the odds that a woman has two of these? Pretty high right now. And so when you, these are cumulative. And so what happens is you look at a dating profile and you're like, oh my gosh, nope. You know, I wonder if I have any profiles that might be a good example of this. Let me check. All right, here, here's a perfect example. I found one. She's 25. She's got a picture of her butt cheeks hanging out here. She's looking for short-term fun. I don't need you, nor do I want you. I want you in my bed, then immediately out of it. So you know it's a hookup. Five foot five, dog and cat, heavy smoker, weird humor. Jim is not life, but I'll always say yes to picking up heavy things. That that being said, F Bulgarians. <laughs> Using you to get over my ex will slander him occasionally. Don't fall in love with me. I literally do not have the ingredients for that right now. However, no one really likes getting uh, undressed for a bunch of strangers. So open to friends with benefits. I wrote this absolutely baked. Okay, let's go back to our... Let's go back to, um, let's, now, she, does she have kids? Let's see. Uh, it doesn't show in this. All right. Um, in bio shows instability. Yep. Non-monogamous. Yep. Um, negative framing of bio. Yep. Uh, she indicates uh, recreation. Yep. Indicates smoker. Yep. Full body, not visible. Yep. She literally hits like half of these things. And here's the thing. Guys will go, oh, she could. She got a nice looking butt. Yeah, well, I don't care. I want to hook up with it. Yoink. <laughs> and they'll still do it. But remember, this is not for a relationship. I mean, men thinking like that. If if I said you have to date her, 100% of men would be like, no way. No way. Here's what men didn't care about very much. Not having similar interests, um, drinking, and uh, alternative spiritual beliefs. They don't care. They're not worried about the jab. What else has he got in here? I, I, that that's, looks like the majority of a summary. And and again, he he does get into a lot a lot deeper on this stuff because he's got a couple of images here. But this is what I'm talking about. When you start adding up all these statistics, guys are like, no way. And then add on top of that, some I got some fun video clips here. Add on top of that some of these videos. Um, I'm just going to let them play and, and you're going to hear, okay, this is, this gal is not trophy wife material. She is perfectly fine. I suppose. I think she's what we would call mid at best. She's not, she's just dressed up girl next door. So a lot of guys would be like, oh, you know what? I'm going to ask her number and ask her out. Here's her response. Which money does your boyfriend need to make a year for you to be happy? Like one, two, three million a year. And why? Because I want to be a trophy wife. Bruh. What's a trophy wife for those that don't know? I just sit there and look pretty. Which money does your... 
So again, she's not like pretty, beautiful. What happens is women need to outdo each other. If you've ever, look, if you've ever been with a woman and you're like, hey, I'm gonna, well, let's go out for a bite to eat real quick or let's just run to the store or whatever. There are a lot of women that'll be like, okay, let me fix my hair and put on my makeup. Why? I don't care. Well, I'm going out in public. Who cares? We're just going to get some groceries or we're just running to the store real quick. It's not like a social event. We're just running to the grocery store. Well, I want to look good. For who? Other guys? No, honey, I, I love you. I want to be with you. Okay, then who are you looking good for? Other women. For society. She doesn't want to look disheveled and messed up. Okay, I get that. But in the same token, it's like, Women compete with other women. Why do women buy $1,200 pairs of shoes? Why do women buy $2,000 purses? Men don't know. We don't care. If a guy does care, he's gay. We don't care. Why? They're competing with other women to show that they have higher status. They have more money. Their man takes care of them better. Oh, look at my huge diamond ring. Oh, girl, he must really make good money. He loves you. That's what they're doing. Well, what's happening on social media is these women say, oh, well, all these other girls want somebody that's six foot. I need six foot one. Oh, you need six foot one? I need six foot two. Oh, you need a man that makes 100 grand a year? I need 500. You only need five. So I need six figures, ladies. And what they end up doing is talking themselves out of every human being in existence for virtual signaling that they're somehow a better catch. You're going to tell me she thinks she's such a great catch that she des deserves a man that makes millions and that she's going to just sit around and be a trophy wife? You are, look, to be a trophy wife, you need to come in first place. Maybe second, maybe third to get a trophy. She is the participation trophy of trophy wives. That's who she is. She's the part, I just came up with that. I'm, I kind of like that one. She is the participation trophy of trophy wives. That's what she is. She's not in first, second, or third. She's nothing. But because she thinks she gets a participation trophy, that's going to make her a trophy wife. What about this one? Now, here's a dude that says, because uh, she says right here, because some of these get cut off a little bit. Would you date a plus size girl? Is her question to this guy. This guy's in shape. He's tall. I don't think he's too bad looking. I can't tell because his face is kind of frozen. We'll see in a minute. Maybe his he's decidedly average. But when he's asked, would you date a plus size girl? Here's his answer. Yes, definitely. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not always about looks. I mean, these videos are okay. So he says it's not always about looks. And this is why you're never good enough for these women. This is a perfect example. If a woman said, if a woman asked a man, or let me correct that, if a man asked a woman, would you date a guy that worked at Taco Bell? Right? And she said, yeah, if he's cool and everything, I mean, it's not always about money. Wouldn't you be like, okay, that's a fair answer because you know he's not making a lot of money. If you ask a, a woman, would you date, or if you asked a, a dude, would you date a woman that's taller than you? And he's like, yeah, like I date a woman taller than me. It's not always about height. I think everybody would be like, yeah, okay. But when you ask a dude, would you date a woman who's maybe overweight? And he says, yes, I'm able to overlook that because it's not all about looks. Women take offense to that. Which women? The overweight women, because they have to be seen as attractive. Always so interesting to me because first off the bat, that first answer, people would assume, oh God, what a good, what a good guy. Um, not saying he's not a good guy, but that answer was. Not saying he's not a good guy, but here's why he's not a good guy. Coming from a woman who is very, very, very overweight while she's drinking a syrupy calorie laden drink. Isn't it? That's a very backhanded, it's like the whole, but you have such a pretty face type, you know, condescending backhanded compliment. Um, his answer is as if like, you know, uh, making a statement that looks aren't everything, meaning being plus size, being in a bigger body can never equate to being desired or being beautiful. Ding, ding, ding. So what do we have for her, Johnny? Makes up for it. Of course not. What he, and again, this is why women have become so unsufferable. He's saying, I can overlook your weight that I don't find attractive if you're an awesome person. 
Now, if you ask me, that's that's pretty big of the guy. <laughs> it's pretty big of her too, if you know what I mean. He's saying, hey, you know what? If I find you attractive and you're cool and you're interesting and you're funny, I can overlook your weight even though I don't find that attractive. And she's gonna say that's a that's a that's an underhanded compliment because you don't find me attractive? Well, no. Would you rather have a guy say, no, I do not date heavy women because I find them attractive? You'd say, wow, what a shallow, rude guy. But here's a guy that's saying, eh, I don't find it attractive, but I'd still date her. And she still wants to complain. What? Like, no, no, no points given there. No points given there. And on the rest of them, especially the guy who's like, nah, actually, because I'm like heading to the gym right now. I'm starting to work on myself. I got to say no comment because holy shit, like it doesn't make any sense. But I don't think that they understand that. It doesn't make any sense. Um, so I'm going to keep it like nice and just. Now, here's what's funny about this. And, and a gym bro is like, no, I want somebody that's athletic and that will keep up with me and I don't want it to date an overweight person. But, but a man can't change his height. A man can't change his income that easily. I, I mean, he can with years of education or training on the job training or being really great at his job and getting a, getting a, a boost in, in his pay or something like that. All she has to do to not be overweight is to eat less. You can't out-exercise a bad diet. You can't. I know this firsthand. The only way you can do it is to cut the, the calories and move more. You want to you keep your muscle mass up. But even just eating less, you can lose. She can change her situation. And so now she hears all these people saying, I don't want to date a big girl. And instead of saying, well, uh, you know, that, that's their choice. Men have a right to choose. No, no, she's going to shame them. But if you turned around and said, hey, would you date a five foot four guy? And she's like, no, I'm five, six. I need a tall man, a man taller than me. That's literally the same thing as what she's doing. The only difference is at least a couple of the guys are like, yeah, I'd overlook it even though I'm not into it. Insufferable. Here's, here's the person you saw in the thumbnail. And what's interesting is if you actually read the comments on the post, which I have, the, the first comment sums it up very well. This woman is selling herself. You look at her, flawless skin, no calluses on her hand, perfect face, makeup, done. She's wearing a Carhartt beanie, and I have, let me tell you something, I know beanies. You guys know, you guys know my head is always cold. All my beanies, if you wear them, they, they get wrinkly, they have lint, they have light fuzz on them. Sometimes you have to pick off, pick off uh, little burrs off of it because it's rubbed up against something. This, this woman's beanie looks like it's been worn for seven seconds. And she's going to now give you, she's going to tell you her ideal man. And tell me if you believe any of this. Because I've met girls that fish and, and hunt and do all this other stuff. They don't, they're not prissy like this. All right, here's some things that are a must for me in a relationship. You have to like camping. And I'm not talking no RV, okay? That's not camping. I do enjoy fishing, but I will not touch a fish, gut a fish. That's not for me. She, so in other words, she doesn't enjoy fishing. She expects you to probably, I mean, you got to put the worm on the hook and then you got to cast it out for her and you'll hand it to her. And then what? She'll wait until she feels the nibble and reel it in. And then as she lifts it out of the water, you got to take care of the rest of it. That's not fishing. That's not fishing. That'd be like saying, oh, I love to hunt, man. So, okay, you load it up and then hand it to me and then I'll shoot. And then once we go up there, you need to, to, to field strip it for me. You need to clean it and you need to, you need to do all that. I, ew, I'm not doing that. Okay, all you're doing is you might as well be shooting at a paper target at that point. So that's going to be your job. You have to like going on trail rides with me. And getting it on like three times a day. It's kind of mandatory. If and that's the trap right there. Getting it on three times a day. And again, look how she's dressed. Her name is Courtney Cuteness. She's a pretty girl. Nice body. You're going to tell me she's going to get it on three times a day. Here's how you know she's never been in a long-term relationship. That's the, honeymoon, that's the honeymoon phase. That is the, oh, we're so into each other and everything is just getting it on a couple of times a day. Those, you know, that... That 
the tingles are really hot and he's hot and everything's hot. And when you get into, as, th- as time progresses, you're not like that a year, six months into a relationship, unless you're both probably go need to get some counseling or something or other. That's fine for the first couple of weeks, but it's going to get down to one a day. And there are a lot of women that are out there. They're like, one a day makes me happy. Yeah, but then it usually gets to one every other day. You know, then she has a tough day at work. And again, she's painting a picture that is unrealistic. Why? She wants comments on her on her video. She wants it shared. She wants men to be saying, oh, man, I would love to have you as a girlfriend. Hit me up. Ask me. It's narcissism. If you don't want me to have an attitude. And my favorite dessert is some home-baked cookies. So better learn how to make them. Who am I supposed to be? You better make, so what do, what do you bring? You make the cookies. Again, you can just hear, it's just all entitlement. It's all entitlement. Do I have the thread? Yeah, I have the thread right here. Right here. <laughs> uh, this was like 259 times. Is she role-playing what a dude would want? Yes. It's exactly what she's doing. Talk is cheap. This has high maintenance written all over it. One night in the tent with mosquitoes buzzing around and it's get me to the Hyatt now. She wouldn't last a weekend in the main woods. Exactly. Uh, the guy says, uh, you put on a Carhartt hat, Carhartt hat and, and, turn into, uh, and turn into you better know how to treat a country girl. FFS. By the way, I can, uh, by, the, by the way, way, I don't know why they typed that uh, twice. Carhartt, one of the corporations that forced their work labor to get jabbed or else, how soon we forget. Yep. This is, this is LARPing. She's LARPing, the perfect girlfriend. And lastly, I'll leave it at this. This is from Zugi. How many partners have you had? And the responses is less than 12 is 80%, which you might say, okay, that's less than 12 is 80%, but less than 12? Why would you start at that high a number? Wouldn't it be like less than one or less than two or less than three? Less than 12, 80%. That's the, not the worst part. 13 to 17 partners, 6%. 18 to 25, 3%. 26 plus, and this is 9,000 votes, 10%. And uh, Shu, which is Shu on head, she's a political commentary, a co- commenter on YouTube as well. She said, why is the floor less than 12? Why is the floor less than 12? Because they think that's a low number. So when you look at all this stuff and you start adding it together and you look at the stats and look at what women put on their dating apps and the way women are starting to respond. And and again, these are all the online women. Now, if you ask the woman, hey, what's your your Twitter, Twitter handle? Or what's your TikTok? Or what's your this? What's your that? And she's like, oh, I'm, I don't do social media stuff. Okay, now we're talking. A girl that doesn't have much social media, she says, oh, I just have Instagram to you know look at pretty pictures and stuff like that. And you see her profile and she's got like a picture of her dog posted and that's it. And you look at what she follows and she follows art and photography and I don't know, nature stuff. Okay, okay, you got to pass. But if you pull up her social media and it's a bunch of pictures of her, warning sign. She follows a bunch of, uh, you know, big money dudes or supermodel looking women. And it, it becomes all about trying to be more like that. But bad sign. If they're on Twitter and they talk about, I don't know, politics and you agree with them. Or they talk about stances on the world and you agree with them. Okay, that's, that's not a big deal. They're on Twitter, but they're following a bunch of spicy accounts and only fools accounts to figure out how to, you know, best get, make, grow their profile and make the most, get out of there. But when you look at these statistics, man, they're not good. They're not good. These statistics tell you everything you need to know. And, and again, read down through here. It's really interesting. I'll, again, I'll, I'll lead a, a link, uh, leave a link to the date psychology page, but just warned, be warned, man. The statistics of you meeting the right girl She turns out not to have any problems. She is willing to work through the hard times. She wants to have a family and stay with you. She doesn't worry about your income, thick or thin, till death do us part, all the way up until old age and we're together. You're looking at a point, 
something percenter. Like let not even one percent. If you're looking at a tenth of a percent is bad as 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 best. So that means you've got to cycle through what thousands of women to find that? Do you do you think you're gonna have a shot at doing that realistically? And this isn't to be a black pill. It's just to tell you, you better get on with your own life. You better get on with doing what you want to do. You better make male friends. You better have a good plan for life that is absent of a woman. Then if you meet a unicorn, then if you meet somebody that you say, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this a shot. I'm going to incorporate her in my life for a little while. Go for it. But that way also, when it doesn't work out, and she, you find out that she cheated or she bailed or she did this or she does this on the side that, that you don't agree with, you can say, uh, you know, it's been fun. Thanks for coming along on the ride with me. I'm going to drop you off at this next bus stop. Good luck to you. I'll see you next time. Uh, guys, um, oh, had a great movie night last night. We watched The Cabin in the Woods and we watched Monty Python Search for the Holy Grail. So I hope you guys join us for movie nights. We always have a lot of fun. We always have crazy memes most of the time with uh, women that um, are either AI generated or these guys found on the web somewhere. And uh, we have a lot of fun. So I, I hope you join us for that. Um, and don't forget to join us over at betterbachelor.locals.com. Great community, lots of news threads and information and stories that you can't find anywhere else. It's five bucks a month to become a member uh, or a supporter, I should say. It's free to become a member. Five bucks to come become a supporter. Four dollars if you do a support for a year. I'd appreciate it if you came over and supported me today. And we'll see you in the next one. Mm-hmm.